It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. All right, Brendan Taylor here at True School Sports. I'm with the one and only Boosie Ennis. Good to see you, Boosie. 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 That's me, live and living color. That's right. We had, we had Boosie's dungeon, dungeon, you know, Philly yes. one-on-one boxing. Yes, sir. Great gym, man. My first time in Philly. Yeah. It's been a treat. It's yeah. a pleasure seeing the sparring and the gym culture here. Yeah. I guess before I get into, like, all the stuff I want to ask about your son and whatnot, yeah. I wanted to ask, like, what do, what do you think separates uh, Philadelphia gym culture and fighters from other places? Well, I know what, what um, is different between... Me and the other coaches and stuff is that um, I'm not like regular coaches. I yeah. consider myself as a teacher. I yeah. teach them what I what I tell them what to do in the gym. I can do it myself. So if one of my students get get uh, get out the way and say, "Let me see you do it. Can you do it?" Yeah, I can go in there and show them I can do it. I do it on them. You know what I mean? I seen it. And, I seen the videos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. see that's what I do, and that's why they 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 uh believe in me so much you know what i mean because I, I whatever i preach that's what i can do yeah yeah, yeah really that's the difference i'm not saying every every coach from philly is the same you know what i mean because you were just saying all the coaches yeah 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 you know what i mean we all have different ways of training no no uh, training guys but we do have some good we have some real good trainers here young young upcoming trainers too oh, absolutely yeah, yeah yeah a lot of the old school trainers ain't too many more around no more like me and a few other guys. The last you know of the last of the yeah, weekends, yeah, you know. Yeah, there's only a few of us, the top three guys around. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I guess I, I wanted to ask about your, your son, man, because right. it's like um, great fighter first and foremost. Really, yeah, I went. I seen him fight live. Worth a ticket, you know. Worth worth seeing him fight. Worth paying. And you see him in the sparring. And I see him in sparring. And what are you doing? He in there playing with them guys. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even though the guys can fight though, but he, he do what he want to do with them. You know what I mean? You know, see, that's the, that's the difference between him and them, uh, a lot of them top fighters, right? Once he fight, he can fight, like, say he fought uh, yesterday. Yeah. He back in the gym Monday, right? He back in the gym Monday, and he was working with the kids, with the pads, or somebody need boxing, he box them. You know what I mean? Just to keep them, get, keep them in shape and keep their mind right so where they can do the same thing he do when they turn pro. Yeah. Or whatever, you know what I mean? Or stay in the gym. See, you got, consistency is the key. You got to stay in the gym, you know what I mean? No matter what. You know, you want to be good, you got to stay in the gym, man. Yeah. Hard work, dedication, man. and that's yeah. what he do. And he that's... stays in the gym all the time. And you see it. Yeah. He did his sport, what, May 14th? Mm -hmm. He came back in the gym uh, uh, that Monday, that, that Tuesday. Okay. Came right back in the gym. And when he came in, he was spawning. Sparring guys that get ready for a fight. I got two more guys getting ready for fights. He spars them, just like today. See what he's doing? So he's one of those guys that really loves boxing. He's yeah, the, you well, don't he got... was raised that way. Yeah. All of my sons was raised that way. Yeah, yeah. Fighting, fighting family. Yeah. yeah. You know, it, it really seems like uh, it's very difficult for him. I know, as you, you spoke about many times, to get fights. Yeah. What's, what's funny, though, is like uh, when I was in New York, you know, um, I, I, I had asked one of the trainers, one of the coaches about, you know, uh, his fighter fighting uh, uh, Ennis. I asked uh, Ismael Salas about Ugas, you yeah, know, yeah, fighting Ennis. Yeah, 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 right, right, and, right. and he had a whole lot to say. He was like, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, if we make the fight, uh, we'll definitely kick his ass and all this, all these kind of things. Uh, huh? What do you think about a fight with your son and, and Ugas? We, we we've been asked for that a long time ago. You know, I mean, I think that'd be a good fight. My son stop Ugas. Yeah. He will stop it. And Salas know that too now. You yeah. see when Salas brought in Delorme. Yeah. What happened to Delorme? Got destroyed. And All right. Run, run, oh. Same thing. You train Salas trained Delomi. Mm -hmm. It's nothing. It's nothing to me. It's nothing different. I, I like uh, them guys. I like, like I said, I like uh, what's his name, Ugas. Yeah. Good fighter. Yeah. I like him. But uh, my son is stopping. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's different level. It's, that's what I'm saying. I mean, he's a good fighter. And I can't take nothing away from him. You know what I mean? But I, I, I know for a fact he's stopping. He thought uh, Spence did something to him, but this, this is something. This would be something different. Yeah. Something they never see. The better the fight is that my son fight, the better my son performs. Raises the game. He, yep, he performs better. Uh, you know, the better fighters he, he get in the ring with, you're going to see a different level. Uh, yeah. uh, he's going to come out with something different every time. Well, you know him better than anybody since you're his dad. Uh, yeah. what, do you, what, do you, what do you think separates him from all other fights? What qualities, What what is there a specific quality or maybe a couple that's, that, that you feel separates him from the other guys in the world play division like Spence and Crawford and these kind of well, guys? What I'm saying is this. Uh, if, you, if you look at the rest of them fighters, they don't go right back in the gym like he. That's another separation. Right? He goes right back in the gym. You know, you see the other guys, they slide them out there partying and doing all kinds of things. Yeah, yeah. Don't drink, don't smoke. So he right back in the gym. That's the separate. You know what I mean? That's, that's what I think. 
uh, uh, believe it's the key of uh, separating between him and the other guys. Yeah. And, and he loved what he do. And I always tell my son to have fun when you're doing this. When you stop having fun boxing, don't do it no more. Yeah. And that's the key. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here boxing fans all over the world from america to the uk to australia and on and on and on so join the empire today hit that subscribe button take care and god